Now that we've been introduced to production possibility curves and opportunity costs, I'd like to introduce you to Puddletown. Puddletown is a town in England that goes way back in history. In fact, they found some Roman ruins in Puddletown. And through the town, there's a river that flows that's called the Piddle. In fact, Puddletown used to be called Piddletown until the 1950s when they renamed the town because they thought Piddletown sounded weird. Now, on both sides of the river, we have growth of barley. And of course, inside the river, we have fish. Now, we're going to go way back in time when there are only two people that lived in the area. And they lived on opposite sides of the river. On one side, we have Basil. And on the other side, we have Sybil. Now we'll imagine that this is a time when there was no bridge that connected one side of the river to the other. So there was no way to get from one side of the river to the other. So in effect, what we've done is we've created two separate economies. And each economy has one person in it. One on this side of the river that has Basil, and then one on this side of the river that has Sybil. And we'll imagine that the only two activities that are available to Basil and to Sybil are either harvesting barley or catching fish in the river Piddle. So both of them can either harvest barley or they can catch fish. Now if Basil spends all of his time harvesting barley, we'll imagine that he can harvest six bushels of barley per week. And if he spends all of his time catching fish, we'll imagine that he can catch 12 fish. Sybil, on the other hand, is better at this. So Sybil, if she spends all of her time harvesting barley, she can harvest eight bushels of barley. And she has really good nets, so she can catch a lot of fish. And if she spends all of her time fishing, she can catch 32 fish per week. So we have two separate economies, and we should be able to derive a production possibility curve for each of the two economies. So what I'd like you to do before you take the quiz is to draw out the production possibility curves for each of those two sides of the river Piddle. And in drawing those, let's be consistent in how we do this and put barley on the horizontal axis and fish on the vertical axis. Then after you do that, think about what's the opportunity cost for Basil of harvesting barley in terms of fish? And what's his opportunity cost of catching fish in terms of barley? And then do the same for Sybil.